Tammy? Yes. And Austin is here. And again, we hope that Lee and Bob will join us. I just heard the message that the recording has been started. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for thank you for that. I'm gonna just wait. Bob seems to Bob Pam seems to be. Here we go. Lee Edwards, would you signify your presence? Here. Thank you, Bob. Are you there? Yes. All right. That is totally fabulous. Um, I know of no changes or additions to the agenda. Um, I do want to say a special word of welcome to Jean. Um, we're real pleased to have you on the on the board. Thank you for your willingness to thank you for your willingness to serve. I'm super excited. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Okay. So, um, have you all been sworn in? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Great. So the first order of business is the election of officers. And what we have done in the past is we have invited nominations uh, and then proceeded. So the first officer to be filled is president of the board. Is there a nomination? Lee yes, Edwards. I nominate Austin. <laughs> a second. second. Okay, that's, thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, any other nomination? Okay, I think we have to vote. So, uh, Farah, you're voting yes to approve. Yes. No, not. Yes. Farah. Okay, Tammy. Yes. Thank you, Bob. Yes, but I think Sharon should be running <laughs> this election. Uh, Jean? Yes. And Lee? Yes. Okay, next. Uh, Justin, how do you vote? Uh, next um, item is the election of the vice president. So nominations. Tammy. So, Tammy, okay. I second that. Okay, are there other nominations? Okay, Farah? Yes. Uh, Jean? Yes. Lee? Yes. Bob? Yes. And Austin votes yes. Tammy, would you like to cast a val ballot? Sure, yes. Fabulous. Thank you. Okay. For treasurer, is there a nomination? I nominate Bob Pam. Is I second. A okay. Are there other <coughs> nominations? Okay. Voting uh, on the nomination for treasurer, Far. Yes. Thank you. Jean. Yes. Thank you. Tammy? Yes. Lee? Yes. Austin votes yes. Bob? Yes. Thank you. Okay. For vice treasurer, nominations. I nominate Lee. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Okay. Other nominations? Okay. On the nomination of uh, Lee to be vice treasurer. Farah? Yes. Thank you. Jean? Yes. Thank you. Tammy? Yes. Bob? Yes. Austin votes yes. Lee? Yes. Thank you very much. <coughs> okay. The secretary, person who's responsible for our no taking notes and making sure that our every word is recorded accurately. Farah? Eugene. Second. Okay, are there other nominations? Just a point of order. Yeah. I believe in our bylaws, we don't have a secretary, we have a clerk. Stand corrected. Okay, uh, Farah. Yes. Uh, Tammy. Yes. Bob. Yes. Lee. Yes. And Austin votes yes, Jean. Yes, and typing. Yes, and typing. <laughs> thank you for, thank you for doing that. Um, under the bylaws of the Jones trustees, the president 
uh, is responsible for appointing committees. And Bob? I believe there's also a uh, vice treasurer. It's been nominated and voted. Yeah. Lee Edwards was, uh, yeah. I think yeah. he nominated, yeah. Sorry. if I remember correctly. That's okay. Correct. Committee appointments. So uh, for the Jones Library Board of Trustees, I will serve, I mean, the Jones Library Building Committee, I will continue to serve on that committee. I'll continue to serve on the investment committee and on the town's um, budget coordinating group. Uh, for the PPP, I would hope that Tammy would continue to serve on it, continue to serve on development and uh, represent us to the personnel board. Uh, yes, I will. Thanks. For the budget committee, Bob, and for investment, Bob, Bob will also be on the uh, uh, budget coordinating group and serve representatives to the town audit committee. Yes. Thank you. Uh, for the budget committee, Lee Edwards. Lee also, I hope, will continue to lead the development committee, uh, will represent us on the JCPC and continue to serve as well as a liaison to the friends. Okay. Uh, Jean, I hope, will uh, serve on um, buildings and facilities and also on the JCPC. And Farah, I hope, will uh, serve on the Buildings and Facilities Committee and become a member of the Jones Library Building Committee, though that, I think, requires uh, the approval of the town manager, at least formally. Thank you all for your willingness to um, uh, to serve. Uh, we have Austin. Yeah, fine. Uh, um, there is there is only one. I, I'm the only one so far on PPP. Uh huh. Um, sorry. 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 It mentions Eugene, but I don't know if that's correct. No, it should. It is correct. I'm sorry. I neglected to mention okay. it. Yeah. Okay. And Bar Jedi. Well, the Jedi is a committee that right will continue. No, you're you're the chair of that committee. And yeah, it, it I didn't know to... if. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, but, but you're the chair of the committee, but that's under PPP. So unless we change, um... I think we're all set. I think we're all set. Okay. Laura will continue to chair the committee, but it reports not to us directly. It reports to the PPP, PP, right? PPP okay. just as we have done it in the past. Okay. Okay. So we have some minutes to approve from December 19th. Austin? Yep. I have one tiny correction to make. Sure. On the yeah, uh, correction for the in, minutes? In the minutes. So let's we just so we'll do it this way. Let's um, a motion to approve, then a second, and then corrections. Is that okay? Okay, sure. So why don't you move to approve them, Lee? I move to approve the minutes. Good. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Okay, Lee. Yeah, it's just in, um, in the place where votes were actually recorded with regard to uh, the library director's contract that were recorded by name and everybody's name was um, given by their last name except for mine. I was perhaps confused with somebody else, but... Um, it should be Edwards. Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Any other corrections to the minutes? Bob? Yes. Uh, in paragraph F, uh, the, the last word in the second line currently reads commiserate, and it should say commensurate. Yep. And in uh, paragraph L, the first word of the fourth line should be but, not by. Uh, if it's expressed that anyone using library services would be considered a patron, but we know. Good. Thank you, Bob. Any other corrections to the minutes? Okay. Um, on the motion to approve the minutes as corrected, uh, far. 
Yes. Jean? Yes. Thank you, Tammy. Yes. Thank you, Bob. Yes. Um, Lee Edwards. Yes. And Austin votes yes. Okay, next is public comment. <coughs> we have two members, two attendees. Uh, if either would like to make a public comment at this point, if they would signify by raising their virtual hand, that would be great. Okay, no public comment. The next item is uh, to talk a little bit about the Jones build, Building Project easement negotiation. And we have, um, we have some motions to um, approve, to vote on, I think. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to ask Bob Parent if Bob would like to say a little bit about all these easement negotiations. Bob? Cert certainly. Thank you, Austin. If I can, I'm going to share my screen so you have a sense of what we're looking at. Sharon, is that, can you do that? Let's see. Let me try this again. So I think you can see my screen now. Yeah, thank you. So we have two permanent easement, easement locations that we're in discussions about. One and the, 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 the simplest one and a desired but not required easement would be what you see on the right-hand side of the property. Uh, you see the shaded blue area. Yeah. Uh, that's an easement on the D'Angelo property. If you look at the photograph, and I can zoom in quickly if you'd like, just to get a little bit closer. What we're looking to do is basically straighten out the edge of the driveway uh, right at this location. And what that means is that we would have an encroachment of about two feet for about 15 feet along the D'Angelo property. Uh, okay. We have had some discussions with them. Um, we will it they've been positive we're not certain what you know what uh they might come back with us or to us with at this point um but i did want to know that that's desired it's not required uh the reason for looking for that access is to maintain the same width of driveway all the way back to the patio area and to the shed area if we're not obtain, able to obtain that easement we would have to narrow the driveway down just a little bit um not a big deal breaker um the other easement location you've probably heard about a bit is an easement on the strong house. Well, I just want to, I'm sorry, I want to just get you to do a little more clarification. This sure. easement with the D'Angelo property is um, desired just to kind of straighten out the driveway. That's correct, to maintain a constant width of the driveway. And it is proposed this easement is coming from us to them, not from them to us. It would be from D'Angelo to the town, to the library. Uh, it, the, there, it, for us to build the driveway the way it's currently shown on the property, we would need the easement from them uh, so as to construct the driveway at the full width. But are they asking us or we are seeking an easement from them? We are seeking an easement from them right. in order to build what's shown in the plan. Yep. Thank you. Sorry. Um, the other easement location um, is on the Stronghouse property, and there's two types of easements that we'll be seeking there. One is a temporary easement to allow um, access during construction. Uh, there's a lot of conditions that we have proposed in the construction documents to limit how that access could be conducted, uh, having to put down timber mats, for instance, having to get approval from the Stronghouse uh, before there's any access on the property, having to be very careful working around the trees and the roots of the trees on that property. So we've put together what we think is a very um, appropriate set of restrictions to the contractor that will uh, meet the satisfaction of the strong house. We've provided that information to them, and I believe it's under review um, by them at this point. Uh, and that would be a temporary easement. That would cease to um, exist uh, typically would be looking at our two or three year time period. 
you typically want to go a little bit beyond the length of the construction on a temporary easement, but once that time period elapses, then the temporary easement would expire. Uh, and then we're looking at a permanent easement, and the permanent easement is shown on this plan in the yellow area. The reason for that term, the permanent easement is to build a retaining wall along that back corner of the property. The back side of the retaining wall that's exposed above ground would be on the property line, but the design of the retaining wall and the typical design of retaining wall requires a portion of the wall at the base of the wall to extend outward away from the wall. Um, and the detail that's been designed right now would have that bottom or the footing of the retaining wall extending 2.8 feet onto the Stronghouse property. And then we would be putting in select material gravel or crushed stone on the backside of that, that footing. So I've indicated right now tentatively a four foot wide permanent easement that would allow that wall to be constructed and allow that wall to exist permanently and not to be disturbed in the future um, if there was work on the Stronghouse property. And that's about 135 feet long altogether if you look at the, 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 the length of the wall as it turns on that yellow section. So those are the two easement locations. Again, one desired, one required, uh, one temporary easement. And there's one more item I wanted to mention that we encountered as we started taking a hard look at property lines and um, our neighbors and, and how the neighbors interact with the library property. And that's what's currently the Drake property. Uh, the rear exit of that property, you can see that in the bottom right, yeah. um, has a stairway that's located on their property. But historically, in order to leave that stairway, uh, because of the bushes that have, are planted along the rear of their building, they have actually had to cross onto library property to get out to Amity Street if there was an event, an emergency or something like that. So, you know, we look at this as an opportunity to clean that up, perhaps with some sort of, a, you know, cross lot agreement or something like that between the library and the Drake. Um, it's not required, but you know, while we're looking at this, it wouldn't be a bad idea to, to address that so it doesn't surprise people in the future. Right. So really, those are the areas. There's three three areas that are flagged: two with easements, and one is just a, you know, a, a access or use encroachment um, that we should be aware of. Right, and the one that is material to the building project is the um, easements, temporary and permanent, with the stronghouse. That is correct. Those are are required. Yep. Okay, so. Uh, before we take up the motion about negotiating questions about these easements, Bob, could you remind us when the library last did construction for the 1993 edition, we had an easement with the Stronghouse, is that correct? That is correct, and and I'm actually I'm glad you mentioned that because one of the things about the current project is that it actually moves the building further away from a portion of the building, as you might know. There's currently, and you can see that in the middle photograph on the left, there's a, a portion of the yep. building that juts right out to the property line. Yep. That will be removed, so now there'll be space between the edge of the building along the entire uh, west side of the building and the Stronghouse property line. I wasn't here, obviously, at the point when that previous easement was acquired, I think, back in 1991. But I believe it is called an air and light easement. And there may have been a desire to make certain that uh, there was nothing constructed in the way of that location, you know, that basically would block the view out the windows or block light into the windows. And and that's really what's restricted is it it's it's just um again, a, a requirement in which they cannot construct something, an easement that they they agreed to uh, to limit their activities on their property at that point. But there was also an easement that was uh, right necessary because of the construction that we were that we were doing in 1993. Right. There was a temporary easement, but that temporary easement expired as temporary easements typically do. Right. And this the easement that we are proposing is in 
what way similar to the extent that you you know this if you don't what way similar or different than the easement we had with them uh during the 1993 construction i don't recall the specifics okay. of that easement other than it was for a similar purpose but i don't know the area limits or anything like that all right sharon do you want to say anything else about the easements no i think that's everything Okay, any questions or thoughts about these easements? Uh, let me just say out loud what I understand the process to be, which is uh, pending your approval of the motion, I would uh, enter into conversations with the appropriate parties to whether we can secure, um, uh, negotiate an agreement about what these easements would be. And then we would come back to the to the board uh, for your um, approval uh, of what the easements would be and what conditions might be attached uh, to, uh, in order to secure the um, um, eas easements. Okay, so um, there is a motion proposed uh, to allow the trustee president to negotiate with the board of the Amherst Historical Society, the owner of the works building and the owner of the Drake building regarding temporary and permanent easements uh, necessary for the Jones Library expansion renovation project. Uh, would someone like to move that? And then there's a second we can discuss it. I move it. Thank you. Is there a second? Se second. Okay. Second. Is there any discussion? Bob. I assume that the large easement on the historical uh, society property is so that vehicles can <clears throat> move to provide access to the back. Some of those turns look fairly steep. And with large vehicles, I'm not sure that, that you can make those turns without encroaching somewhat further. I'm just asking the question. I don't know the answer. Yeah. Bob, do you want to, Bob Parrott, do you want to say anything about this? Certainly. Um, yes, that's mostly correct. We do envision uh, it would be to allow vehicles to come in the side of the building, allow uh, you know, typically vehicles in the size of a forklift and those types of things to come in because they would be um, what would be needed or would be most convenient to be able to construct the building. Um, something like a concrete truck, uh, what they typically would do is they would provide a pumper. Uh, they don't necessarily get right up to the building, so they, they, they basically offload the concrete into this pumper device, and the pumper device has a hose that can extend pretty much across the entire site. So something like that, I wouldn't see the need to get a concrete truck all the way to the back of the building. Um, and there would be access, you know, after the building is demolished, uh, there would be access on the east side of the building as well, uh, fully to the rear. And I'd expect that the contractor would effectively work themselves back out of that area as the new building gets constructed. So it is, yes, to allow access to large vehicles, but it's not the only way that large vehicles can get onto the site. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, the motion is to allow the trustee president to negotiate as laid out in the motion in your packet. Uh, how do you vote, uh, Farah? Yes. Thank you. Jean? Yes. Thank you. Tammy? Yes. Thank you. Lee? Yes. Bob? Yes. And Austin votes yes. Thank you for that. Um, I will keep you apprised as those negotiations go on, obviously. And as I said, at the point where there's something for you to approve, it'll be brought back to you. Um, before we um, adjourn, I want to ask the library director, Sharon. Hi. Yeah. Yes. Well, I didn't know if that. Are you going to ask a question, or sh can I just give okay. you an update? I'm going to ask you for the update. 
Uh, I wanted to let everybody know that on January 24th, uh, the Jones is going to close to the public so that staff um, can can begin to plan. And uh, we're, you know, we're going to rent a shredder, for example, as you can see, I've got some documents that that need to be um shredded and uh and we'll get a dumpster and so this will be you know the first of probably a few opportunities for the staff to start now that we know it's really going to happen thinking about packing and moving and unpacking and being in, in a new space and um i hope we hope to have a more solid uh timeline within the next couple of weeks uh it so ish we could be uh packing in february moving out in march uh unpacking in april and and starting to serve in may that's an that's all ish um but i just wanted you all to get a general idea and once we have once we know where we're going to be in the interim uh which we should have a a more solid idea of next week uh responses are due tomorrow um staff will start uh, digging into all of the things they have to think about, you know, from, you know, staffing and scheduling, open hour schedules for the branches, uh, where programs will happen, where the technology will happen, where holds pickup and drop off will happen, where ESL services will happen. And um, it, it, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a lot. Um, and so, that's my that's my update and i you know certainly as i get more information i will certainly let everybody know as as fast as i can um and many 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 thanks to bob parent he has absolutely been um essential to getting us to this point farah you had a question it was about location but you said that you didn't but it sounds like you have a lot of work ahead yeah yeah thank you any other questions about what Sharon has just said? Bob? So am I to understand that, that the town has not successfully found spaces for us to go to? The responses are due tomorrow. Okay. Um, second question, and it's uh, not very difficult, but uh, if Gene is going to be on building and facilities, does he get a hard hat? I think you'll all be getting one. <laughs> My head's pretty hard already, but that's probably the best if we get a hat. Okay. Any uh, any other questions about what Sharon has just said? Okay. Well, we'll be anxiously awaiting to see what we get by way of proposals and uh, looking forward to the update about how the transition, how the move will, uh, how the move will go. Okay, we are next scheduled to meet Sharon on the. I think it, I want to say the twenty second. I believe that's right on okay. the twenty second. Okay. So with nothing else, oh Bob. Um, there was also materials about boards and committees and bylaws. Yeah, you know, we wanted you to have a copy of the bylaw the Jones Library bylaws, because we've said that we would annually um, make sure everybody had them. Uh, and if you've had a chance to look at them, if you have any thoughts about them. I do. So uh, I wonder if what we could do, since they're not listed as on the agenda for this meeting, if we could put them on the agenda for the 22nd. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you, Bob. Invite everybody to look at those uh, to look at those materials in terms of the the bylaws and what we are, uh, what the charges to the various committees are. Is that okay, Bob? Sure. Yeah, let's put it on the agenda. All right, anything else? All right, it's nice to see you all. I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks uh, with our business complete. The meeting is adjourned. Stay well, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye, Take everyone. care. Happy New Year. Indeed.